If you're having a hard time rotating your shoulder to do the J stroke effectively, because you notice my wrist is rotating and my entire shoulder blade is, or uh, my shoulder cuff is rotating as well to have that rotation in the paddle, we can always do a modified version. The modified version is next to the same. It's almost the same. Uh, it's a bit more easy to execute, but you might notice your hand gets sore after a while. But basically after the stroke, notice my thumb, instead of rotating it downwards, which is the traditional J stroke, I just bring the paddle back and I bring my thumb upwards. My blade still ends up parallel to the boat and then I can push out. Once again, if you're doing a lot of J-strokes, you might find the tissue between your index and your thumb gets sore after a while. Uh, some people will call this the, the goon stroke. I've heard it called a lot of different things, but essentially it'll have the same effect. If Isabel starts to paddle, I can paddle and I just push out here at the end and it'll turn me towards the side I'm paddling on just like a traditional J-stroke would.